Loners are a distinct group of people. They prefer to have a smaller group of friends and do not mind spending time alone with themselves. Loners, unlike those who are lonely, are never lonely. In fact, they feel most fulfilled when they are alone, because this is when they are most in touch with themselves. Why do you prefer to be alone? You've probably asked yourself this question and felt strange about it because you don't understand loners. Loners aren't bad people, in fact, they have a lot of positive personality traits. Why do you enjoy being alone? 1. You are a shy person. If you prefer to spend your time alone, you are most likely an introvert. And there's no need to feel bad about it. Introverts are one of the best types of people because they save their interactions and energy for the people who matter to them the most. You enjoy being alone because you lack the personality of an extrovert who is constantly surrounded by others. In crowded places with a lot of people, on the other hand, you feel suffocated. 2. Your energy supplies are insufficient in comparison to others. You probably know someone who is constantly energized. They are constantly on the go, and they constantly invite you to hang out with them. They constantly bombard you with texts and phone calls, which can get on your nerves. You wonder why you aren't like them, and then you remember that you don't have the same amount of energy as they do when it comes to social gatherings and interactions. While you enjoy going for a walk or exercising, you prefer the comfort of your own home, where you can relax in your comfortable bed. 3. You enjoy being independent. You are aware of your own capabilities. You are aware of your preferences as well as your dislikes. Nobody can make you do something you don't want to do. Plus, you can't do the things you want to do when you're with other people because everything you want to do requires peace and quiet which you won't find when you're with other people. You can be yourself and do whatever you want when you're alone. And for that, you would not trade your happiness for anything in the world. 4. You are a deep thinker. You enjoy sitting alone and contemplating life's big questions. You consider your ambitions, your future, love, the universe, and anything else that comes to mind. And, even if you dislike socializing, your mind is constantly occupied. And, of course, this is not the case for those who are unable to be alone. Those people are unable to sit alone and contemplate their thoughts. You're not like them, and you should consider yourself fortunate. You, like all the great philosophers before you, are a true blessing to this world. 5. When you're alone, you're at your most productive. When you're alone, you can focus completely on your work. There are no other people around to distract you. With their energy, no one can disturb your peace. You're so used to being alone that even the tiniest distraction causes you to lose your concentration. Your creativity blossoms when you're alone. And once you're in that state, you're free to do whatever you want. 6. You despise drama? You can't understand people who enjoy gossiping behind their backs about others. You despise gossip because you despise the negative energy and toxicity that comes with speaking ill of others. You want to maintain your peace and good vibes, so you avoid gossipers. You don't want to waste your time and energy on people who are toxic and negative to you. You would rather be alone and content than get caught up in unnecessary drama. 7. You despise small talk. How are things going for you? Wow, the weather is beautiful today, have you put on any weight? These are all questions that irritate you to no end. There are some questions that are pointless, meaningless, and you have no idea why someone would ask them. You've got better things to do with your time than engage in shallow small talk. Anything that has no meaning in your life has no place in your life. 8. You are in charge of your emotions. You don't require the company of others to make you happy. You understand that everyone is responsible for their own happiness, so you strive to make the most of each day. You are fulfilled from within, so you don't require the company of others to make you happy. You are in charge of your emotions and don't let others tell you how you should feel. 9. You are content with the little things in life. Despite the fact that the majority of people are constantly striving to improve their lives through material possessions and money, you enjoy the small pleasures in life. You'd rather read a good book while sipping coffee than be concerned with labels and social status. 
Because you don't care about being seen, you have no problem saying no to events and social gatherings. You are happy with your life and would not change it for anything in the world. 10. You dislike being physically and emotionally intimate with others. You feel vulnerable and anxious when you get physically and emotionally close to someone. Maybe it's because you have a general lack of faith in people, or maybe it's because you're afraid of being hurt because of a previous traumatic experience. Opening your heart to someone else, for whatever reason, is a risk you'd rather avoid. You don't want anyone to have such a stronghold on you. Because it is when you truly love someone that your heart is most at risk of being broken. However, if you fall into this category of people who prefer to be alone, you are likely to share some of the personality traits that are common among them. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think in the comments section, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future videos. Also, take a look at our other videos, I'll see you in the next one.